Greetings, one and all. Once again, it's Crazy Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, I want to talk about America's Got No Talent. I'm a little... I, I'm a little fed up with the show. I usually watch it because it's pretty cool to see some of the stuff some of the people do. And I like to laugh at the retards like me that think they have talent but don't. See, I think I have talent, but I don't. Like, I can fist pump like a jerk off, but that's about it. And I'm not even proud of that because of those douchebags on Jersey Shore. But that's a whole different story. So America's Got Talent is no longer about talent. You've got the American fans voting for who they think should win. But as I'm watching it, I realize it's not about the talent. It's about the sob story that was their life before they came on the show. <laughs> I lost my puppy dog in a fire, and, and my mom was hit by a rabbit, and I uh, <laughs> someone threw a flute at my sister. Oh, 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 so what? Get up there, do your fucking magic, or fucking sing, or do something. I don't want to hear your sob story to make me vote for you. So they got this guy who, oh, my father's going to be so proud of me. He, he used to do this, but he used to sing, but then he got throat cancer, so I'm living his legacy. I'm living his legacy. Or you got the ones, you know, who... It's just annoying. It's fucking annoying. America's Got Talent is annoying! Let me collect my thoughts for a second. Just a second or two. A second or two. Okay. Okay. Then you have singers, you have magicians, you've got dancers, you've got a guy on a bike with no seat. He has no seat on the bike. And he falls. He constantly fucking falls, and the people still vote him through? America got talent? No, America's got a fucking country full of morons that keep voting this asshole through to the next round. It's fucking ridiculous. Blasphemy, even. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. And then you got the one kid, Taylor, whatever his name is, I think, who sings, he's okay, he's okay. He'll never be able to make it in a Vegas show. Not not for an hour-long Vegas show or anything. But he's probably going to win because America's going to vote for him because A, he can sing, and B, he's a decent-looking 17, 18, 19-year-old. I don't know how old he is. But all the girls are going to go, Whee! All right, let's vote for him because he's sexy, he's cute. Oh, he's so adorable, I'm gonna vote for him. Oh my god, OMG, he's gonna be my BFF. I heard him. Ha 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 ha, LOL. Fuck off, man. America doesn't have talent. America had talent, but America voted them off. Surprisingly enough, Prince Poppycock is the most talented guy they have, along with the with Fighting Gravity, the dancers. Prince Poppycock and and Fighting Gravity, I think their name is. I always miss them. I'm a little upset. I keep missing them. Are the only two on there worthy of, of anything? And I, I'll be honest with you. While Prince Poppycock is actually pretty good, I would never ever pay to go see him sing opera music my balls off and stick it in the sandwich and eat it first. I'll eat my balls in a sandwich. Maybe like sausage. I'll grill my balls up like sausage and eat it in a sandwich before I go see Prince Poppy Talk. Fighting Gravity, however, or Defying Gravity, Fighting Gravity, I think their name is, they're the ones that deserve to win because they're actually quite impressive. While I missed them on the TV, I do look them up online and they are quite impressive. So if you have not looked up Fighting Gravity, please do. They deserve the win. So we'll find out next week what happens on America's Got No Talent.